Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.14.4, all the mods for, with Nemson. Uh, we've had a big amount of updates. Since the little Halloween episode I did recently, there was um, a 0 0.1.6 update, which added a fair whack of mods, but I didn't need that for Halloween, so I didn't update. And since, since then... There's been another 0.1.7 update come out, which I've now installed all of the latest updates and got bang up to date. And there's loads of new cool stuff. Um, in particular, let's have a look at uh, one thing today. Uh, well, a couple of things today. Actually, let's have a look at a couple of things today. Let's uh, stop this auto fisher. Um, I've now got an Aquaculture 2. I just uh, found a bluegill, which is nice. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, so bluegill now. So I've got so much more storage that I'm going to have to worry about here. I was actually trying to get these lost tablets from Tombstone, which is kind of in keeping with the last episode. The um, the tombstones. I've got to... Um, I think I've got to tap these onto um, tombstones in order to list, see their power. Yeah, an adventure awaits you. Apparently, I've just got that reward. Okay. Um, I don't know if things are working completely properly since the update. You know what it's like with updates. Things can break. But I do have a backup of where we left off, so this is all right. Um, but anyway, let's have a look. So, there are new fishing rods available from Aquaculture 2. Or at least they're supposed to be. Uh, at Ac I just saw the fish, so why not the fishing rod? Iron fishing rod. Oh, I'm supposed to have a stick. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I was fully prepared for that. Don't worry. Uh, do I have a stick in here? Nope, but I've got some wood. <laughs> my dump chest. Uh, my uh, dump bag for wherever I have things that I don't particularly know what I'm going to do with it right now. And uh, yeah, so fishing rod has to be... Like, well, there's a knife. There's also an iron fillet knife from Aquacraft 2 as well. Uh, aquaculture 2, should I say. Aquaculture 2. So this iron fishing rod, I wonder if it's enchantable by adding a different fishing rod to it. No, I didn't think that would be a case. I, I was just hoping, I suppose. Um, let's see. Let's just put myself onto this for a second there. Uh, all right, I've got a little <coughs> um, thing. It's called a stapler. And I put it onto my mouse key so that I can be hands-free when doing auto fishing like this. Uh, but in theory, that new fishing rod should unlock new things. And that was a vanilla fish I picked up, so nothing new there. Uh, there's all sorts of things in the updates, including stuff that we've kind of already got enough of in a world. Um, but there's they're all the new mods as they're being released. That's what All The Mods 4 is all about. Experimenting with all the new mods as they come out, as soon as they're released and as they're updated. Um, so there's quite a lot of stuff including mystical agriculture which is a resourced crop based system very similar to well more more original but similar to plant tech 2 which we've been playing around with uh, i think it's simpler it has machines and it has armor which is the same kind of thing as plant tech 2 has tried to do um but we'll see how it goes i don't think um, I don't think Mystical Craft 2 actually has a farming automation system, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's also some other bits and pieces, like um, a new port of Steve's Factory Manager. And that might work with the Plant Tech 2. I don't know. I, I, just, I struggle to remember how Steve's Factory Manager works and whether or not it was into slots and out of slots and so on. I'll try and figure that one out as well. Um, and loads of other cool stuff, including Torchmaster, which I need to make one of those big uber torches to stop mobs from spawning around my village. That would be nice. Uh, save me on save on torches a lot if I can just make sure that they don't spawn in the area of effect instead of I've got to light every single crevice up so that nothing spawns by accident. And there's a few other bits and pieces which I'm really pleased with as well. Um... Which we'll get into, we'll get into, including refined storage. Now, I've been messing around with all the other storage systems, and now we've got refined storage, which is like applied energistics. 
um, but gets released faster than applied energistics ever does. Uh, let's see what we've got here then. Did I, did I get anything good? I got some brown trout, some perch, a bone, a minnow, and a couple of raw cod. And that was it. Pretty terrible day fishing, to be fair. I'm going to put that and that there, just because I might need it later. And these are new fish in the game, which I think do pretty much the same thing as all the old fish. <clears throat> so, do we have any special uses for these? I can make raw fish fillets. Uses for those. I can use it as an enchantment. What? <laughs> uses for this. More raw fish fillets. Uh, uses for this. More raw fish fillets. And I can, I can do enchantments with it. I can, wow, I can enchant it. Enchanted fish. That would be really weird, wouldn't it? Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's that, that's that bit done, right? So, let's get out of here. I don't think there's any bad guys around. Let's just uh, block it off so nothing can get in. Get back over here. Turtles have been also very busy getting loads of wood for me over this area. Ready for me to take home. And, uh, yeah, there's still a lot of things to do. I think the X, um, XL Food mod has been updated. I don't know if XL Food has anything new crop-wise. But I do know there's a new crops and new ores and things that I need to find. And I've got an ideal way to do that without uh, messing about with my world border today. Uh, it does look like it's all the same stuff in here. Uh, I saw a fish pie though. So there's some new pies available. They've got some new things that you can make in XL food. So that's good. Uh, but I now need to head on back to the other base where all my stuff is and uh, make a quick couple of things for today's episode. I don't think there's anything in here that's any real use to me. I mean, I've got a few bits and pieces in here, but nothing special. I will just travel very quick through the tunnels to the spawn. Okay. I've still got to move these steps one block to the left. Is it one block? One block to the right. I still want to move these stairwell, this whole stairwell, one block to the right, so that there's that one block space either side of my portal. Yes, I know. I'm I'm putting it off because it's not essential, but I'm uh, I'm I'm kind of getting sick of it. I need to I need to do it. When, if I'm going to keep travelling through that way, I need to do it. I need to get that platform sorted out and fixed. And uh, yeah achieve all of that greatness uh right so let's get up here is it night time no it's not night time again but i set my spawn point right so we are not looking at that today what are we looking at we are looking at the yet another okay uh yet another mining dimension okay no okay what's this mining dimension then I didn't know it was existed. If it is, if it is. So it's yeah, it's Yama. Yeah, Yamada. Why doesn't it come up with this then? At Yamada. Mada. No Masa. Mada. Yamada. <laughs> Yamada. So uh, why doesn't it come up with Yamada? I don't know. But it is a mining block. A mining block. A mining block. But it is a mining block. Called the mining dimension portal. Uh, and it's from yet another mining dimension attempt mod, right? And it's fairly simple. It's some bricks, a stone pickaxe, and an ender pearl to craft. Now I currently don't have anything. Oh, and uh, Forbidden Arcanus want me to break my only ender pearl. I currently don't have anything available to make that work. So let's have a look. See how many bricks we happen to have. Uh, four. <laughs> Good job. So uh, clay is the first thing that I've got to struggle with to make the bricks. Um, I'm not sure how much clay I've got. 62. That's not too bad, is it? I can get uh, get quite a few of those. So I need to work this out and make sure I get it right. So we currently are short. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 6 fours will be 24 bricks. 24 bricks cooked up in a furnace. Uh, actually, I should go up one to my other crafting zone. Um, 24 bricks. And that's the electric furnace. So let's half this and take down to 24 bricks. So <clears throat> while that's happening, 
this yet another mining dimension mod pretty much has one block in it it's that and it creates a new dimension uh, that new dimension is supposed to be flat um, like a flat world with no caves and no lava lakes and none of that kind of stuff so you can just dig 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 right so can I just put this on here no because it's all trapped in the lower controller um, but that means that I can take my turtles I can take uh, spell check and molly miner and a well I suppose we can take a chest or two let's take a chest um, or two let's take a couple of chests for each of them and a lot of coal uh, and get them set up in that respect and then go and do a little bit of mining for these new ores so because we've got a new mystical agriculture at mystical mystical agriculture has ores um, that's mystical world lead ore that's mystical world lead ore tin ore and amethyst ore so mystical world also has new ores um, but prosperity ore for mystical agriculture and infernium ore from mystical agriculture are only going to be found in new chunks so we are going to do this process here if i can get this process to work get this process done here so that we can have a mining dimension that we pop to to get all of our sort of stuff that we need and then we can i suppose drop it back here uh, i suppose having it here is a good idea because then it's a portal to another dimension mining dimension that we can work on from that okay you get the idea okay let's make it oh i only just noticed as well look these have got textures in the update these have been t updated with the textures so that's nice isn't it silent mechanisms have now received very simple graphical updates they look pretty good they look pretty good they're nothing too fancy, but then this is Minecraft. You don't really want too fancy. Too fancy sometimes looks out of place. This is a very simple technical look. This kind of technical look, just very simple, just like vanilla stuff. That looks nice. I like it. Um, it's it's going to be practical. It shows you what's what's in there. And that, I must have placed the wrong way around. Because that looks like that's supposed to be the front, front back and sides. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's get down the stairs. I keep forgetting where these stairs are because they all blend in so nicely. Uh, let's get down the stairs. Let's cross that off and make some more of those. Six more of those. And then go for the mining. Mining dimension. Boom. Boom. Done. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know how this works exactly. I do have this um, teleport thing ready. Just in case something goes wrong over here. Um, and I think I should probably put my portal... Uh, well, I suppose downstairs. In some sort of way for these portals. As this is kind of my portal away from here. Maybe I should put it into here somewhere. Alright. So this pick is far too destructive for this particular job. Um, and maybe I put it there. Maybe I put another portal somewhere next door to that and end up with something like so. And if I move all those steps across, which I do still plan on doing, then maybe this will go in something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a couple of um, a couple of other portal type things because it's bound to be another like a teleporter for RF tools, an RF tools teleporter, and then this portal into another dimension. That could work. Yeah, I might have to bring it closer forwards. But it can work. It can work. It will It will work. I'll maybe put something in there. I'll mess around with this when I've got time. But for right now, this is me going where no man has gone before. I don't know. I'm supposed to right-click it. What? Am I just... Do I just right-click it? No. <laughs> okay, I'm not going anywhere. Right click portal to teleport. That's what it says. Mining dimension. Right click portal to teleport. Do I have to look at it from this side? Nope. Do I have to right click a block on it? A pick on it? Nope. 
Oh my days. Is there a problem with this already? Well, there goes today's episode. Bye. Okay, so um, I've checked. I've uh, checked the version of the mod and I've gone back a couple of versions. Still nothing working. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing, so I haven't lost anything in my world other than, what was it, 24 pieces of clay, which I think I'll make up with. Um, so that means that the few mods that were kind of relying on me going to a new dimension, or to new chunks at least, I'm not going to start on this episode. Uh, I don't feel like I should go and start um, expanding the world when I can just have a mining dimension that basically will be able to be deleted and re recreated each time there's a major update in the pack. So we can experiment with all the new mining minerals and ores and stuff. Uh, but first, of course, that mod needs to be fixed. So what else have we got? What else have we got? Let's go upstairs to the workshop and let's see what else there is. So, yeah, it's cool stuff. I like cool stuff. Yeah, cool new stuff is always good. But problems incur with new stuff as well. Uh, there is another mod which I don't particularly like the look of. Col Colossus Chest. Right, Colossus Chess, um, with large interfaces and large sizes and big, big chests with upgrades and things. It just makes big chests, like actual big size chests, like big chesty chests. Yeah, and we've got all the other storage mods in the pack. So while um, I'll probably have a play with it to see if there's some use for it, like a having inputs up there and the outputs down here or there. Have outputs in three different places or something. That might be interesting to have one great big um, storage capacity somewhere. Maybe having a great big storage capacity for the quarry. That might be another thing that would be pretty cool, I suppose. We'll see how it goes for that one. Um, other mods, though, I think there's a few little things that we could probably cover quickly, right? That are in the pack now that they weren't before let's have a little look down here do you, do you like my quick way of getting down to the videos now yep oh a trader how you doing i just oh actually let me show you that this time worn visage protection five mending unbreaking five respiration three aqua affinity three and rebounding three don't even know what rebounding is maybe if i drop it on the floor it bounces back on my head i don't know what that is but we'll see right um, and I got that off another trader recently. Who, who are you though? You've got your, you've got nothing. Oh, what? Oh, okay. We've also got better than llamas in, with the raspberry foxes new models for the uh, llama, and there's also the bunny one as well. So there's the bunnies. I wonder if my any of my llamas have now got. Yes, my llamas have now got top hats on as well. So better than llamas mod has now made these llamas look pretty cool. How are you doing, fellas? How are you doing? Hello, fellas. And this one, you look like you you don't know where the Turkish baths are. Stop it, you. Uh, let's take this. Uh, can you please stop spinning on the spot? That's doing my fez in. <laughs> Get it? Doing my fez in. Yes. So we've got things like that available as well, which is cool. Um, but the main thing for over here, I, I've been having a problem here where they do not respect the lay of the land over here. They refuse to keep the earth tilled. They trample on it. They jump from up here and they bounce on it. Or they jump up here and then they they get it like he's just getting there and then he'll drop off and he'll bounce and trample right but there is a mod in here now which is called trample stopper and guess what trample stopper does yeah that's right it makes fish jump out of water no no it, it stops them trampling so i can now fill all these back in and it will stop them from trampling when they jumping around off the bits and pieces over here uh, which looks like something cool. And this section here, because they was always dropping down over here and trampling onto this bit. Now they cannot trample. Now they cannot trample. And uh, they they seem to be not able to walk around the place either. Look. So there's no trampling there. So I can do all this and set all this up and make the farm that a little bit bigger. I've been going around quite often now, just um, just taking up everything around here and allowing them to empty their inventories a bit of seeds just because right so we're doing that um 
and in here we're going to need some worms to test out to see if the aqua craft uh, aquaculture is a thing let's just get a worm Does that go in there no let's get a worm i'm expecting that there's going to be some kind of aquaculture that might have something to do with what's going to go on in this area i mean uh, 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 uh you can you can do gold nuggets and iron nuggets as well that's new i think i don't think that was there before oh yeah so so the the recipe of what you get from these fishermen's filters are nothing and that gets me clay so that might be worth setting up something to get me a clay supply yeah that might be cool i think that's an update though because i haven't i've only ever had the the fish strainer as far as i know and I was doing that to get string and lily pads for my farm uh, over there. For the lily pads, yep. Hi, guys. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting off, I'm getting off. The other thing that we've now got, um, let me go outside for that. Because I don't particularly want to do it here. It's another new little thing, which it looks pretty cool because I have had a few issues before, right? So, when you've got a spade... Or a shovel. Let's get let's get this shovel. Is that one dead? That one's dead. Excavate. Then you get a shovel and you turn the grass into path. That's how it normally works, yeah. But when you're messing about with building and stuff, and you've got other bits and pieces that you want to do, and you're rebuilding where your path goes, which I've done a fair bit, you end up with a lot of dirt blocks lying around where you want path but you can only still do the grass. You've got to wait for the grass to grow. I've had that quite a lot. I've had a, a quite a lot of that. But now there is a mod called Dirt to Path, which means I can now change dirt to path as well, saving me a lot of time when I'm building new lanes and um, roads or pathways within my village. I won't need to worry so much when I've done some terraforming about letting in the grass grow back because uh, I can now do dirt to path, which is cool, I like. All right, let me see if there's anything else that we can find on this new mods list that we can kind of do today. Okay, two things. One, Torchmaster, right? So we've got these feral flare lanterns, which are amazing. They just start lighting up everything in range, which will save me a lot of time and effort in the village. Uh, there's a dread lamp which stops um, mobs from spawning, ne neutral mobs like animal mobs from spawning, like bats mainly in caves. And then there's the Mega Torch. The Mega Torch takes a couple of blocks of gold and some diamonds, but pretty simple really, to get a Mega Torch. And then I also have some of this packing tape. Now, the reason I'm going with packing tape um, and getting two of those is because packing tape can pick up spawners right so i know that there's a place round here i know that there's a place um below me in fact where there is a um abandoned mine shaft can i put this on there yeah i can <laughs> and it kind of hides it that works though doesn't it that works that'd be all right yeah i suppose i could put it somewhere else but let's let's hide it into the beam of that yeah, that'll, that'll work. It will amplify it. That's what it is. It's amplifying it. So now I shouldn't have mob spawns anywhere around here, which is great. Uh, but next up, I'm going to go down into the mine shaft below and see if I can nab myself a couple of those spider spawners. Um, because I know that they're there. I know that they're there. Uh, oh, there's, there's that thing over there as well. Did I take one of those? I didn't bring one with me. Oh. No, I was going to bring one of those old tablets, wasn't I? Uh, let's see. Which Where should we go to get down into the cellar? Now, I remember when I was digging this place out that there was a thing just over here that was about bang smack onto a spawner of some kind. I saw it accidentally through the world glitch as I was digging up some blocks. And so I left it marked out with some white wool. In case you were wondering why this white wool is out here, it's because I marked an area that I saw through the world that I decided I would come back to in a future time. 
And today, apparently, it is that future time. Let's see. So, I'll just dig down carefully like this so I don't fall down off any blocks. And we'll go down into the world below. I'll cover it up because I don't want to... I don't want to have that part of the map. I want to see this map underneath here. So I want to see when I get down to the right level. I do understand that that means that you're not going to be able to see too much. But sacrifices will be made, people. Sacrifices will be made. Um, I can see it now coming this way. I can hear it now on this way as well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm over it. I can hear them and they can smell me oh there it is there it is okay so how far across do I need to go to escape this all right so we've got light it up and if I go down this side then I can get down to it over here let's check there's the base of it yeah well, it looks like it's a zombie spawner. Okay. Should be easy to deal with. Smack him about a bit. I shouldn't really be this uh, fearful of it, should I? Oh, they're dropping the stuff as well. That's another way of getting that new stuff from mystical agriculture. Uh, I do think I need the ores still, though. So that's not a thing that we can, uh, we can just avoid. Still going to need that. But this is still a thing that I can do. Let's get... A bit further in yeah there you go die so now if I put packing tape on that can I put packing tape on it it doesn't look like I can nope I can't put packing tape on it I thought the packing tape was supposed to do it all right I thought the packing tape was supposed to clearly it does not so well we, we tried that anyway we got some uh, diamond horse armor out of it nice and we got some iron horse armor out of it a bit of string which uh, yeah good um antlers from mystical world and some gunpowder a music disc and some wheat i wonder what the antlers are for uh uses of antlers i can use it as an enchantment okay can i put them on my head no i can't put them i can hold them in my hand but that's about it Okay, so there's, uh, there, was, there was no real use in coming down here. I shall dig my way back up. There, there is a way of picking up the spawners, though. Right? Sil silk touch, picking up spawners, is still a thing. Packing tape requires paper to work. <gasps> That's what I've done wrong. I need paper. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got a load of paper in my inventory. I sorted that out. Um, the packing tape should work. No. Shift right click. No. No. I've got paper now. Shift right clicking. Nothing. What is wrong with this picture? Eh? What have I done wrong now? Hmm. Okay. So why you can't do that, I don't know. I do know that I've got this chest. And this chest should be done with packing tape. So shift right click there look and that works and then you break it and then you can move that packing tape you can move that to wherever you want it to be and then unpack it as it were that's all good but I was pretty sure that you could do this as well okay it must be a config thing it must be a um, an, a thing that happens only in updates it must be something hit you with a fish uh, it must be something like that that there is an only will be a way to move it if you accept the configs to be that way. Um, so it's going to be a config thing. So I want to know, right, down below, in the comments down below, please let me know if you think I should be allowed to use packing tape instead of silk touch to take mob spawners from around the world and take them to where I want to use them. Right, so it's a it's a, an essential thing for me experimenting with the mods. Um, yeah, I, I mean I don't mind waiting until I get silk touch because I know a mod that gives us silk touch on a pick will pick up spawners. Yes, we went over that a few episodes ago when I was making a mob farm, but I haven't got a silk touch enchantment yet, which I can do. I can just go fishing and I can do other trades and things and just sit at the XP farm and 
all that kind of stuff. But should I? Leave in the comments down below whether you think I should or should not use packing tape um, to pick up spawners like these. Uh, we've had a we've had a few updates, yes, and there's been a few things that work and a few things that don't work and a few things to work out amongst ourselves. Next episode, I do have some plans to get into some other big expansive mods that we can take a really good long run at and spend a few episodes building up all of the machines and supplies and stockpile a little bit towards that mod. But for right now, thank you all very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode of Minecraft 1.14.4, all the mods for, very soon. A goodbye.